What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Trucker Dean coming at you guys again, man. I've been on home time a little bit, so y'all haven't seen many videos from me. I've been kind of chilling out with the wife, you know, trying to just relax or whatever, man. But I'm back on my mission, man. I'm back out on this road, man, and I'm back letting y'all know how sweet the thing, how sweet things are. For all y'all that done came on under me, man, you already know how sweet it is. I bet your bucket full. It's probably running over. Got your feet wet in the truck. You feel me? Cause the money great, man, and I wasn't bullshitting about none of that, you know. Anyway, but I, I made this video also as well, man. Uh, kind of let you know about the, how the OS and D go you know what I mean me personally I've had a few issues of OS and D where uh not problem with the company OS they just simple fact I go to certain shippers and they'll damage boxes and then I get to the receiver and the receiver will reject those boxes now once you report that the OS and D the the company let them know hey this is what happened this was marked on the paper of course you sealed up leaving until you got to the place when they broke the seal so they know it's not your fault so don't worry about that part but you get three opportunities you can throw it in the trash you can donate it or you can keep it and i've had two uh slabs two different boxes of, of ribs from tyson man premium cut ribs the restaurant style premium that i've got to keep you know uh but this time around just came out my first load i had some tyson chicken like a bunch of breast pieces and different stuff like that that was damaged when tyson loaded it so the receiver didn't want it so they left the, the box on my truck of course i reported the os and d and all that and they told me hey if you want to keep it or you can throw it away or i can donate it so i decided to keep it and the reason being is first of all i ain't throwing away no good food man it, and it, a lot of times it's damaged it's just the boxes it's still s sealed up in um uh, airtight packages and stuff inside the box so that's really good good food you know what i mean so i, don't, I ain't gonna throw it away but since this happened so close to Christmas, what I'm going to do is, it's like plenty. I got like two coolers. No mind my truck now. It's a little chunky, man. I'm kind of, kind of living foul in, you know what I mean? But anyway. But uh, I got this cooler right there. It's a big heavy set cooler. Like 50 buck cooler. And I got that cooler right there. Okay. And both of them are filled with chicken quarter pieces. Big bags of quarter piece chicken. All the way to the top. And it's packed down with ice. So I'm gonna keep that alive and keep that fresh. And then when I get home, it's a park not too far from my house in my hometown where a lot of transients uh, live at and stuff instead. And I wanna uh, I wanna pass the blessing on to them. And I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna pull out my grills and stuff and I'm gonna barbecue all this chicken for them, get some sides and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm gonna feed them maybe a few days before Christmas or maybe Christmas Eve or something like that to allow them to enjoy, you know, some um, some good meal. You know, and, and it. Uh, and I'm able. I'm glad that I'm able to uh, provide the opportunity to them, you know, to try and enjoy themselves a little bit. Because a lot of people don't really care about uh, the transient people, man. And that's not that's not with me. You know what I mean? So, thank you, Hirschback, for you know allowing me to keep the chicken, and you know, and uh, thank God most of all for giving me the opportunity to have the chicken so I can pass the blessings on, man. So if you're from my own town, man, and you drive with Hirschback. I got to get some sides or whatever, you know what I mean? And I'll, it'll be good, man. If y'all want to, you know, chip in or whatever and help me, I'll come out there and help me pass some news out, man. And, and you know, show the love, man, back to the community, man. But anyway, man, that's what I was saying. That's the challenge, man. Everybody, man, pass it on, man. Do something for people that can't do for themselves, you know what I mean? Help people out, you know what I mean? The blessing come back to you anyway in the, in the long run, you know what I mean? It comes back. You reap what you sow, whether it's good or bad. You do good, you reap good. You do bad, you reap bad. That's what it is. But anyway, man, it's Trucker Dean, man. I'm out, man. And hopefully I can see you guys in Pensacola, man. And come out there and, you know, help me uh with this thing I'm a jig. But uh, anyway, I'm out, man. Much love to y'all, man. Hirschback. If y'all ain't came on under me, man, my my uh, email is reall7002 at gmail.com. That's reall7002 at gmail.com, man. Come on, man. I'll get you on, man. It's raining over here. Get your bucket because I'm going to fill it up. Straight up, man. This your boy, Trucker Dean. Love y'all, YouTube, man. I'm out, man. Bye.